darts are one common way to create three-dimensional shape out of a flat piece of fabric. The darts in the pocket will help shape the pocket to have a bottom and sides. Find the inner pocket piece. There should be a casing sewn across the top edge. If it is wrinkled or creased, press it flat before you begin. Begin with the leftmost dart. Fold the dart along the center line. Be sure to fold right through the point. The right sides of the fabric should be facing in towards each other with the wrong side facing out. The line should be visible from both sides. Place a pin right at the top point of the dart. This will not only keep the dart folded correctly, but also highlight where the end of the dart is while you are sewing. Next, carefully pin the bottom corners of the dart together. Check to be sure that the lines match up on both sides. Pin along the rest of the line, always checking that the back line matches up exactly with the front line. Pin with the pin points towards the base of the dart. We will stitch each dart from the base to the point. Stitch each dart with the sewing machine set to a stitch width of zero and a stitch length of three. Start at the fabric edge closest to the base of the dart. Imagine that the line of the dart extends into the seam allowance. Put the fabric underneath the presser foot, put the foot down, hold the threads, and stitch two or three stitches forward. Backstitch two or three stitches. Continue forward. When you reach the stitch line, backstitch two or three stitches, then continue forward following the line. Stitch until you reach the point of the dart, remembering to remove the pins as you go. The last stitch should reach the point of the dart and the very edge of the fold in the fabric at the same time. Do not backstitch. Make sure the needle is up, remove the work, and cut the threads leaving about a 3 inch tail on each of the threads. Check that the stitching follows the line on both the front and back. Then tie a square knot with the two thread ends. Be sure not to pull too tight. The stitching of the dart should stay flat and smooth. Once you have tied your knot, trim the two thread ends to about a half an inch. Repeat the same process on the other three darts. When all four darts are sewn, it is time to press the darts. The darts should be pressed towards the center of the pocket. Use a pressing ham or sausage to help create a nice round edge and prevent creases from forming in the other parts of the fabric. Position the dart over the rounded end of the sausage or ham. With the dart folded in the correct direction, carefully press so that the fabric is completely flat along the seam of the dart. The points of the darts should zero out gently into the fabric, creating a soft, rounded corner. Reposition the fabric to press each dart. Continue until all four darts are pressed. Check the darts from the right side. If there are any places that need further pressing, carefully press to flatten and create a softer transition or a more rounded corner. Now you are ready to finish the seam allowance of the inner pocket.